Hi, welcome to our lesson on volume scale factors of 3D shapes. So in this lesson, we're going to work out an unknown volume or the length of 3D shapes. And we'll begin with this pair of cylinders here. We've been told that the radius of a smaller cylinder is three centimeters and has a volume of 10 centimeters cubed. And the radius of a larger cylinder is six centimeters with a volume we've been asked to find, which is given as X. So because we're going to work out a volume, we need to use the volume scale factor. And this is the length scale factor cubed. So we can work out the length scale factor from these two cylinders because they've been given a corresponding pair of radii. The smaller one is three centimeters and the larger one is six centimeters. So we can work out the length scale factor by dividing the larger radius by the smaller one. And six divided by three is two, and the centimeters will cancel. So in terms of their length, we can say the larger rectangle is double the size of the smaller one. So now we have the length scale factor, we can work out the volume scale factor by cubing it. And this is two cubed to make eight. So now we can work out the value X by multiplying the smaller volume 10 by the volume scale factor. So X will be 10 centimeters cubed multiplied by the volume scale factor, which we've worked out as eight. So this will be 80 centimeters cubed. Okay. Moving on to the similar cones, we've been told that the diameter of a smaller cone is five centimeters and the diameter of the larger cone is 15 centimeters. So we can use these corresponding lengths to work out the length scale factor. So this will be 15 centimeters divided by five. The centimeters will cancel and 15 divided by five is three. So again, in terms of its length, we can say the larger cone is three times bigger. So now we have the length scale factor. The volume scale factor will be this cubed and three cubed is 27. So the volume of the larger cone, V, will be 24 centimeters cubed multiplied by the volume scale factor 27 and this is 648 centimeters cubed okay let's try another question so here we have an exam style question where we're being told that the main triangular prism has a volume of 7812.5 centimeters cubed and the blue triangular prism has a volume of 500 centimeters cubed. And we've been asked to work out the length K, which is this length here. Okay, so to begin with, we need to show that these two triangular prisms are mathematically similar. And if they are, then the cross sections will have the same three angles. And we can show that this works because they both have a 90 degree angle here and here. Both triangles share this angle. So this must be equal in both. And because of angles in parallel lines, this angle is corresponding and equal to this angle. So now we've shown that both triangles have all three equal angles. They must be mathematically similar. So now I'm going to draw the two prisms separately. Okay, so going back to the information in the question, because we've been given two corresponding volumes we can work out the volume scale factor and this will be 7812.5 centimeters cubed divided by 500 centimeters cubed the centimeters cubed will cancel and 7812.5 divided by 500 is 15.625 so this is the volume scale factor. And because the volume scale factor is the length scale factor cubed, 
the length scale factor will be the cube root of the volume scale factor 15.625 and this works out as 2.5 so now we can work out the length of our base here with 15 divided by the length scale factor I'm using this length scale factor because 15 is a length and not a volume so 15 divided by 2.5 is 6 and this length is 6 centimeters so if this is 6 centimeters then this length must be 15 take away the 6 so k must equal 9 centimeters okay thank you very much for watching and i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care